Okay, so thank you for attending the demonstration. We are going to show you the distributed black box test bed of uh, hide nets. This is all the gang of four which uh, worked real hard on the demo, so we are going to thank them afterward. So this demonstration is about uh, a distributed uh, black box which tries to implement a plane-like black box in an automobile uh, context. But instead of actually having a hardened hardware to store the, the flight or the tra trip data, it's stored distributively on neighboring cars, okay? uh, like a peer-to-peer -peer system. So the information we're uh, saving is the position of the neighboring cars in, ca in case of crash, the gear status, the drive status, the, these type of things. Uh, and what we want to tolerate is uh, either uh, malicious faults, like car crash, car accident, and malicious attacks on the confidentiality of the data, for example and also lack of cooperation be between the, the participating uh, devices. So three main properties, availability, integrity, and confidentiality of the data. <coughs> this is taking place on uh, this uh, platform that you see here. There's a robot platform on which we have some location hardware a reduced Wi-Fi interface. We should have had a smart card, but uh, due to a problem with the USB ports, we don't. It's running, it's running on top of uh, MacBooks, which are running this faulty software that <laughs> had an update this morning, OS 10.5.6 and Java 1.5, on top of which, we have some part of the HiNet's uh, middleware, namely the proximity map service, which is used to collect information about the neighboring cars and their position and their available resources for storage. A trust and cooperation oracle to choose whether or not we are going to trust this or this car to store our data and the actual cooperative data backup service, which is used for implementing the, the real data backup. So the proximity map works by exchanging position lo or localization stamped beacons. So um, we beacon with uh, our position, but also we beacon with our knowledge of the neighbors, so that I know also about the vicinity of my neighbors. We can select the number of hops, we can extend this uh, knowledge. Okay. And it can be running using any kind of uh, localization technology, so either GPS if we are outdoor, or using what you see here, cricket, which can be used for indoor localization, not very precise. And currently, we are using these big infrared cameras, which are all collected to the machine, which is just behind you, Paolo, triangularized uh, between all these 10 cameras. These cameras spot these little reflectors, which are on top of the robots. And each robot has a different setting, a different skeleton of, uh, of reflectors. So this machine collects everything, triangularize, and we can uh, ask this machine for the localization of a specific skeleton. Yes. A few millimeters. A few millimeters. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, well, for, for a skeleton, for, for a reflector, it's less than a millimeter. For a, for a skeleton, it's a few millimeters. Hmm? How long does it take, like, fast if you... It depends on the, on the network to query the machine. So we are doing it 
So the of, uh, thing itself, the for, for, for us, for, for us, for our scale, it's instantaneous. Yeah. Yes, it's one, 100 parts. Yes. So the latency is only the network latency. Well, more or less. Uh, no. The trust ion cooperation oracle is used, as I said, to guess whether or, or not a neighbor is going to cooperate in the future. So. It's, it's more or less to say whether or not I trust uh, it's going to respect my privacy or whether or not it's going to actually store the data for me. We considered different uh, approaches during the course of the project. Among those approaches, the, what we thought was the best for the aut automotive uh, uh, context was based on trusted hardware. So. We had an implementation running on smart cards, but as I explained earlier on, we could not use this implementation on those uh, laptops. So we are uh, back on a simpler white and black list. Then the cooperative data backup works like uh, in a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, resource sharing network. So every node acts as a client and as a server of the, of the backup service. Its client side is called data, uh, well, we call it the data owner side, which gathers the data the application has to, to backup and distributes it on, among the available resources in its vicinity. And in exchange, it contributes to the service by storing the, the data for its neighbor cars. It works both in ad hoc if there's no infrastructure, so collective, when cars travel around, they save each other some chunks of data. And when they con connect to an infrastructure, they can release all the data on a secure server. So this is a platform uh, on which it's uh, working on. It's actually a 50 uh, scale reduction compared to a real car. It's running on MacBooks with two different networks. The application ad hoc network, which is running on a reduced range Wi-Fi 802.11b. It's on these external interfaces which have an external antenna, and in between the interface and the antenna, you have signal attenuators. So the actual range is between two and three meters. Okay. There's also a supervision network, which is used to uh, show on the screen the various uh, interface of the application, and also to connect to the uh, localization server. <coughs> the, so the localization is based on uh, this EVART uh, system. And the mobility is implemented by this, uh, these rovers, which follow the tape track, you see. And uh, we have, uh, due soon, we are, we are going to, to release a new version based on a more autonomic uh, autonomic system. OK, so I think, uh, yeah, no. The application interface, so that's what you're going to see, uh, that I what is going to be projected. You'll have one window like this, one for each uh, car, for the green, the blue, and the black car. This is the currently the blue one that we called Antonio. So Antonio has a view of its vicinity here, and some navigational information, so uh, a compass and a, and a speedometer. There's some information about the proximity map of, uh, of uh, the, the middleware. So this is a view of the proximity map. Antonio knows about the black node, which at this time was spotted in here. So you can see it here. This is the number of nodes in the proximity map. So that's the information about the cooperative backup. Here you see the number of